This video is one of several videos on the new event frame generator. It will lead you through the necessary steps for the setting up of the PyData for the tutorial. First, open the interface utility. Navigate to the Py bin directory and open the Py bat file. This will load the uh, interface that we need. We will now add some additional scanning frequencies needed for the tutorial. In my case I only have one scan frequency, I will need to add two others. So I will add a two minute, I will add a 30 second and also a one second scan frequency. Make sure that yours looks the same as mine after this. Go ahead and save and you will notice that every time you save and make changes you have to restart the interface. So we will go ahead and do that. So now it's restarting. Once it is restarted we can shut down the interface utility and the interface will still be running. The next thing to do is set up digital states needed for some of the Pi tags. So open your system management tools, go to the Pi points and digital states, and we will add a digital state set called EFGen Sim Phases. And make sure you spell the uh, this correctly and also all the states correctly. So we'll have inactive. Then material add one and so on. When you finish, your states should be set up the same way and the same spelling as you see here. This is necessary and important because the tutorial will need this digital state and this information. So one more. Okay, now that we're done, we'll go ahead and save. Now you can exit System Management Tools. Next thing to do is load the Pi tags needed. So we will navigate to the directory where the Pi tag XLS file is. That's under the interfaces, and then EFGen, and you will notice there is a file, XLS file called Pi EFGen Sim Tag Config. Click that and open that in Excel. It opens, you can see there's a bunch of tags already predefined for you. All we need to do now is export them to the Pi system. So go to the add ins, Pi SMT, export Pi tags, make sure the mode is in create, and press OK. If everything worked well, you will see the 90 tags are created. You can now shut down Excel. Next thing to do is to validate that the tags are getting values. So go to the system management tools and go ahead and see if you are getting current values. So go to data, current values, search for all tags starting with RE. As you can see, here's a bunch of tags that were created. Select them all. It's OK. You'll notice that Python has been created. Now we'll need to wait a little while, depending on your system. We could take you know, 10 to maybe 40, 50 seconds before this updates. So we will wait here until this updates by pressing the recalculate or refresh. So after a little while, when you press refresh, you will notice that all the values are now coming in. So let's give it a minute. Okay, here we go. So all of the values are now coming in. So everything's working well. So the last step now is to create the AF structure to import the templates and the elements needed for the tutorial. So go to the system and then find Pi System Explorer, open that up, and we will now go ahead and create a new AF database. 
So the System Explorer opens up, click on Database, and then New Database, and we will create a new database called Pi EF Gen Sim. Now click that and press OK to open it up. Now we will import an XML file that's already predefined for you. So import, navigate to the interfaces EFGen directory, and then select the file that says PyEFGen sim PyAF import. Leave the defaults and press OK. You may get an error like this because your units of measure may already have some existing ones. If that's the case, ignore that and keep going. You may not get that error if your units of measure do not include some of the ones that are saved with the XML file. Press OK. So now we will just verify that everything's worked correctly. So we'll go to the library, open up the event frame templates. Make sure that you create now the view, you know, arranged by the reference. And you will see that some of the templates are referenced to each other. So you can see the tree of the event frame templates. The last thing to do is check the elements and see if they're getting data. So we will open the tree up and go down to the reactors. And then click on the reactors, click the attributes and then see if you're getting data, and here we are, and just check the other reactor. Okay, this concludes this setup for the Pi data. The next video will go ahead and show how to go ahead and uh, uh, configure the system.